How are you? I am good. It's good to connect with you and thank you for your time. Thank you for yours. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations on the series and everything. It's uh, I, I really enjoyed the characters and what you're bringing to the table here. So congratulations. Thank you. I uh, My only complaint is I didn't have enough to do in the first season, but uh, I love the fact that this show deals with some brutal issues and some, you know, it's very real in, in some ways that all of us deal with, um, you know, difficulties in our life and, and, and uh, sometimes making bad decisions and feeling shame and sometimes uh, hurting people. And all of those things come to fruition in this show. And they show you basically that you can get through it, you know, yeah. and, and, and I haven't come across a show like this ever because it's, it's brutally in your face. Like there's no escape. A lot of times in the faith-based world, they will, they'll sort of round off the edges because it's hard to watch this one. They, man, they slap you across the face with it and you have to sit and watch it and it's hard to watch. Uh, and if you hang in there, you see that there's, hope for all of us that you know there's there if you have people who love you you can get through anything right right i meant i uh yeah thank you for that i i, I think i read that you you mentioned the show pushes the limits especially for like a face faith show yeah, uh, sure. i you... think that's attractive in this particular show yeah. I, I definitely think that's the most attractive thing about it i don't know that the you know the that they're Sometimes that audience doesn't want to have this kind of reality, even though it's a soap opera. It it, it hits it's it deals with a lot of really difficult subjects, and uh, so I don't know. What, that's why I think this is going to be a, a great experiment. I can't wait to see. Yeah, I'm curious if you can talk about um, some of the little bit of nuances or uh, your experience working with Roma, um, who really brings something to this as well. And the whole cast really shines. Um, yeah, if you could talk, I'm curious what your thoughts are on working with her and what you feel she brought to it and why it was important for this sort of thing to come forward. Well, Roma is a massive beacon of light in the darkness. Uh, she is a warm blanket. Uh, when you sit next to her, she just, she's kind, she's comforting. She's generous. She has so many great things. Um, I love working with her. We have great chemistry. Um, our families, my wife, her husband, Mark, we've been up there a bunch. We were friends off the ice as well. <clears throat> They're just good people. Um, and she also was a great boss. But Roma identified this series of books by Karen Kingsbury, knowing that Karen sold 25 million copies of her books. So yeah, there's an audience. Incredible. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And there's an audience for, for, for the series of books. And so Roma, in her wisdom, fought to have this show made, got it made, and um, thank God Prime is putting it up. And I, I think, uh, you know, as far as working opposite Roma, that's just, everybody should be so lucky. It's just a, it's just a, a wonderful place to be. And like I said, we have real chemistry and, and real friendship. And um, it's just not always that way, right? <clears throat> right, right. Um, I've never experienced a show where people are breaking out in prayer so regularly. Yeah. So I, do you think yeah. that, how do you feel that will land on both sides of the, or whatever? Well, I know in one arena, in the faith-based arena, that'll be fine. You know, because they'll, that's not going to be that shocking. But it is, it is, you know, you're like, well, they're praying again. Uh, but it is sort of how they come together. It's the through line of that family is their faith. And that they, they, John Baxter, especially, and Elizabeth, walk the walk and that is he is a man of conviction he's a man of faith and he is a man of love and respect for all people uh, and and above all his family 
So yeah, there is a lot of, I agree. There's a lot of prank. Um, and you understand that that's how that family comes together. That's how they uh, get through their most difficult times. They're, they're, they, they know they're not alone. They're asking for guidance and help and strength. Uh, and I think for, you know, on the other side of it, like Mark Burnett has coined it as Melrose Place meets the Bible. <laughs> and it's kind of it. You know, you got all these hot young kids that are beautiful and, and they're uh, adorable. And they go through these difficult, we all do, uh, in in life. You see them walk through uh, their difficulties. And and so uh, there is, there's, you know, if, if, if the faith thing isn't your, you know, not for you, it's still kind of interesting. You still might watch the next one. And maybe, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe people will see that uh, you can get through anything in life if, if you have people around you who will support you and love you for who you are. Sure. And, and I think that you can also take that from this show. Uh, so it, it's... It's got um, a faith-based audience won't have a problem with praying because that is who they are. Uh, it, but if it's if it's difficult for other groups, it, it, it might be. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think it's a bold endeavor. I'm curious. Are you a fan of Mark Burnett's shows? And if so, if yes, so which one stands out for you? And did you watch Touched by an Angel with Roma? Yes, all of those, all of the above. Uh, I am a massive fan of. Mark shows. Uh, I love Survivor. Uh, I'm I have friends with Jeff Probst uh, that I, I met through Roma and uh, and Mark. And so I I'm just I just think that's a fun show. I like the sociology of the show, uh, and I find that fascinating. Uh, the study of you know humans. It, it's really interesting uh, in groups and how they react to each other. And, I think it's interesting in the acting world. I find it all fascinating. But Mark is Mark's a unique, brilliant man. Roma doesn't get enough credit for like she fought for this show. She has been there. She is a strong woman of faith, and and uh, she's a good Irish Catholic, and uh, she's just such a joy to be around. She is. Uh, She's a wide open soul. And so together they're one heck of a team. Yeah, I would say powerful. Yeah. Uh, excited. What are you most excited about season two of shrinking and what can you tell us? Well, I'm so we're right now in the fifth show. And uh, it's of course, I, you know, I can't tell you anything, uh, but Derek is going to have a little more to do. Um, it's a, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. Uh, I, I think, um, again, there's a lot of crazy storylines and, uh, it, I think it'll be compelling, uh, television. It, it, <laughs> I will say going to work every day is just a, an absolute pleasure. Like I can't wait to go to the set. Those are the greatest days. You don't get that every day on, on different shows, even though I'm really good at that. Like I, I'm always, I will always find a reason to enjoy a job and, and a certain group of people within that space. This is just a no miss, like shrinking in every direction. Everybody's just been so wonderful and, and, and professional and fun and just awesome. I did have my first, I think I can say this. I had a scene with Harrison. And that was uh, one on one, because our worlds don't really interact. So, so anyway, that was uh, that one's going in my book. I love it. I love it. Um, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations on all of this. It'd be great to see you and in, um, in shrinking and this as well. Yeah, thanks. This is going to be the great experiment. Uh, the Baxters will we'll see. Maybe we'll talk again. Absolutely. All right. Be well. You have a great rest of your day. You as well. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. Absolutely.